Hey guys, B1 Studios here, and as you can see, I'm not in my usual setting here. I'm actually on my iPad right now because I'm going to try something a little bit different today, and that is to give some of my impressions on an app that I don't think has gotten a lot of attention, and that is the Firefox web browser for iOS. Now, Firefox is all around one of my favorite browsers. I actually use Waterfox on all of my computers, which is the 64-bit variant of Firefox. And when I had an Android tablet back a couple years ago, I used Firefox all the time because it had sort of this desktop type feel in the UI and also had decent performance. But when I started using iOS devices to sort of see what it was like, I noticed that Firefox was not available on iOS for quite some time. And when I first found out that this Firefox for iOS had been released, I was super excited to go and try it out. And so far, I've been pretty satisfied with it. So let's take a look. So actually, before I started using Firefox for iOS, I was actually using Dolphin Browser a lot because it has a whole lot of functionality to it, and the UI, especially on the iPhone and iPod Touch, is quite nice because you can swipe from the left to open your bookmarks and swipe from the right to actually have a list of your tabs. But on iPad, the Dolphin browser actually has more of a Chrome-like feel. And what I really like about Dolphin is that it actually has a find function, so you can open a find search bar and find anything that's on a particular page, which I found very useful. Now, granted, Firefox for iOS doesn't have as many features as Dolphin at the time that I'm recording this video, it's still a pretty nice alternative to Safari for iOS. So if we just go ahead and open up Firefox here, you'll notice right away that it has a very clean and streamlined user interface. And as you can see, when you first open it, there are actually a bunch of shortcut tabs at the top that will direct you to your browser history, recent sites, bookmarks, and so on and so forth. So now if I just go into the search bar and type in Google, I'm actually going to Google Google right now. Googleception. Anyway, you can see that this browser actually has pretty smooth all-around performance so far with Obviously it's only one tab, but it has nice animations and it just provides a really streamlined browsing experience. Another nice option is actually turning on private browsing, which is available on the desktop version and now also on the iOS version. So if I just open up a couple of more websites here, you'll notice that performance is all around pretty smooth. Now up top you have your usual share functions and you also have a bookmark button which does a really nice star spinning animation when you bookmark a website. Now I'll just open up multiple web pages and see how the performance of the browser holds up. So as you can see right now, I have nine tabs open, and so far performance has not been suffering in any way, shape, or form. Now just for reference, I am using an iPad Air 2 at the moment, and this iPad is exactly a year old now. Just in case you were wondering, that's the device I'm using right now. So yeah, maybe performance will suffer on older iOS devices, but if you own one of the newer iPhones, iPads, iPod Touches, I think performance of this browser overall is pretty amazing. 
So I'll just open up the settings right now. And as you can see, there are not very many settings right now at the moment for the iOS version of Firefox. Just the ability to sign into your Firefox account, change your default search engine, block pop-up windows, clearing your data on your browser, and just a couple of other things there. Of course, though the settings may be limited right now, more features can be added in later software updates, and I have full confidence that Firefox will definitely expand on its functionality as time progresses. And of course, you also have your typical gestures, such as swiping from the left edge to go back and swiping from the right edge to go forward, which is pretty common in most browsers these days. And as always, performance is very smooth and all around a great browsing experience. So that's about all I've got. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And I will catch you guys next time.